Mike, I don't know if I've been a part of a game with no score under the, at the under 16. Well, we're not going to have it as Burton gets the feed from Grace, and that's 2 nothing. Spiders, five minutes. Passes. All right, what do I want to see, though, offensively here now for the Bonnies? Well, I think they've got to continue to move the floor. I think you've got to try to find ways to get bank shots as Moses Flowers. Another talented transfer comes off a pin down there and knocks it down. I'm talking about Moses Fowler's third. Team's really struggling shooting the ball here in this game. But you can see Quinn, he knows the double team's coming now, and he got that basketball out there quick. Got a wide open shot, just didn't go down. Bonnie's one for 12 from the field until that shot from Fowler's. That's a three. He, he's instant offense for this St. Bonaventure team coming play is started. 10 to 8. Bonnie's with the advantage here, and 9.20 to play in this first half. Gustafson kicks out for Burton. Now a wide open Nelson for three, and he cannot respond. Quinn with the offensive rebound. And now a three ball, and that one's good. And it's scored by Jason Roach. Transfer out of the Citadel. How about Roach's ability? They love him coming off the bench. He hit 110 threes last year at the Citadel. Yeah. Game winning three versus the Kane early on in this season in this conference play. Shot clock down to five. Banks recognizes it. Has to put it up. Trying to draw contact. Oh, he hits it off the glass. <laughs> Banks with the bank at the end of the shot clock. He got Tyler Burton up in the... Bonnie's by two. This is Luke. Flowers. Now Anquan Hill gets it inside. Almost knocked away. Benning, yes. A terrific jump hook. Chad Benning got the post position that he wanted. Another trans you play against Richmond, you're not going to pitch a shutout in terms of back doors. You're going to get beat at some point in the game. Just got to get out of the net and play fast. Oh, Benning. A feed from Banks. What a pass. On the drive against Banks. On the pick, Randolph. Good feed, Roach. And spots up and drains his third three of the first half. Not just try to put your head down and drive it in there. So here's Quinn now for Richmond, working on Venning, and he scores. That's Neil Quinn, the seven-footer, the transfer to Lafayette. How about the Richmond for Quinn? And also a substitution as Luke comes in for Venning for St. Bonaventure. Three ball on the way. That's good. Luke, he's got it. We just talked about it. It's a four-point game there, which kind of took him out of his rhythm instead of just going up and finishing the layup. But Luke. Luke. The runner. Got it. And a foul and a chance to take the lead of the free throw line. What a play by Kyrell Luke. Richmond switched up their defense. They've been going under on pick and rolls on him. That time they've tried to fight over the top of the screen. Now he gets ahead of steam downhill. Unbelievable finish. Got a chance here to take the lead on the three-point play. Quinn couldn't believe it. He picked up his second personal foul. And Kyrell Luke. Bonnie's clock here. Fives to shoot. And Grace lost it. Banks got it. It's tipped out to Luke. Who goes back to Banks for three. And here comes the Bonaventure crowd. They've been St. Bonaventure worked on that at shoot around today, attacking their pressure, and not just attacking it, but attacking it to score. Kyra Luke of the steal for two. Nelson for Richmond. Coach Schmidt a little bit frustrated on that possession just with the positioning of his team. Burton spots up for three, and he trades it. Tyler Burton from the out. Minute 40. Clock that was at five to shoot here. Here's Banks. That's huge. <laughs> That's with 1.6 remaining, but not going to be enough for the Spiders. The Bonnies win it hard. 71 to 63 over Richmond. They improved to three and two in the conference. They're undefeated at home in the Atlanta 10. They're eight and one overall. Their fifth straight home win versus the Spiders. Well, I think they're going to point back to this game, and it's going to be the start in the second half. The focus that St. Bonaventure had in the second half to come out, not allow their offense or their defense to be affected by their offense, and were able to pick up one heck of a win today. That's all for us. Thanks for watching. From Matt McCall, Mike Corey, so long from OEM, New York. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Up next here in USA, a fast and furious marathon. Enjoy that. Have a good one, everyone.